the whole question of everyday thinking has been a, a central research theme and, and uh, interest in artificial intelligence as well as cognitive psychology. Uh, our own hypothesis, for which we think we have substantial evidence, is that most everyday problems are solved by recognition because they are problems we had the day before today. They're problems we've had many, much experience with. And we've been studying recognition. We know that any grandmaster chess player has, over the years, stored in memory at least 50,000 chunks of information, uh, which take the form of, first of all, familiar cues that that chess master can recognize on the board. He looks at a board from a game and he says, oh, there's an open file. That's a particular geometric feature on a chessboard. Or, oh, there's a castled king. Uh, he has names for many of these, like the names I just, just mentioned, but not all of them have names. Uh, we have fairly good estimates that a grandmaster must have at least 50,000 familiar friends, which whenever they appear on a chessboard will be noticed and recognized. So most of what we call intuition, this ability we have in everyday life and the ability that experts have to respond to situations and just act, not even know why they act, have a difficulty in telling you how they act, is uh, nothing very mysterious. It's the same thing that enables us to recognize a friend walking down the street. And it's based on an, uh, an enormous accumulation of experience, which in the case of a real world-class expert, involves these 50,000 or more patterns, maybe a couple hundred thousand, and uh, a decade or more to acquire them.